Percy back, one of your teammates. What does he like as a teammate, and also what have you seen from him on the field so far as well? Chris, Chris is a great guy, always been a competitor, um, and that's all he's going to do. I mean, at the end of the day, he's part of me. We have a lot of great QBs here. Um, Carson throws the ball well, he handles the line well, makes the right calls, and just is a good leader behind us. Did you work a lot on the scout team? Yeah, my freshman year, yes, sir. So how much did the, has that experience helped you when you're going against the, the Jordan Davises and Jalen Carters, those that, kind of a guys? A lot. I think that's one of the biggest things, biggest uh, moments of growth for me, just playing against guys day in, day, day, in, day out, getting better. Um, especially when I was on scout team, I was playing multiple positions. I am now, but like I was playing guard, tackle, each side. So it was kind of just like I was getting better. I was definitely getting a lot of better. We had a lot of great guys come through here, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, it shows this past uh, spring with pro day and everything. Um, definitely helped me out a lot. Where are you working the most now? Uh, left or right guard. I was going to ask you about uh, has the transition from New Jersey been um, to, to down here? It hasn't been too bad, really. Um, I've enjoyed it, really. I, uh, let's see what I'll say. The biggest, biggest difference for me is probably the food. I'm a big guy, my Jersey food, love my bagels, my Italian pizza, all that. So uh, that's been hard to adjust to. But other than that, everything else has been great. Did you know much about Michelle Moreno, kid Weston, who, you know, before your time, obviously, but they played here like 12 years ago. They're from New Jersey. Nah, the only person I ever knew from the area was uh, Isaiah Wilson. I had a teammate who actually okay. transferred from uh, Poly Prep, so okay. that's how I kind of knew of him. But other than that, the only person I knew prior to coming down here was uh, ex actually, Xavier. We met at a camp, um, was my sophomore year maybe. We were talking about pizza last week. Have you found a favorite pizza place? Down here? Mm -hmm. Haven't yet. Fully Load is pretty good. We actually had that tonight, so I'll probably get that. Um, but nothing beats Jersey pizza. I mean, right. it can't compare. I'm sorry. Where did you camp with uh, Xavier and Emma? Did that help you kind of make your decision to come down here that you knew someone? Yeah, that was actually way before I was even oh. like a talented, like a talented player, really. Um, we were at, I think we were at Rivals Camp in uh, Piscataway. Yeah. But that was a real, that was a big difference, a big different person then. What about having Coach Brown here? He's a Jersey guy. Actually, I haven't really got to speak with him much. Uh, it is good to have Jersey guys around, though. I mean, we're a small state, so we kind of get close knit. So I definitely make my time to get over there, get to know him well. And yeah. I guess going back to that scout team thing, was that hard for you to embrace that first year coming down here and saying, you know, this is going to be my role, getting that first team defense look? No, definitely not. Um, one thing, I mean, I love to take coaching. I always know there's something, I was able to get better. I never believed that there's ever a chance I cannot get better. Whether it be talking to someone who's younger than me, a freshman coming in, someone older than me, a coach, doesn't matter. Like, someone's work could definitely impact me one way or the other. What are you wearing this day? Right now, 335. Okay. And what do you want to kind of play at in the fall? I'll probably get down five more pounds, be 330, but uh, 330, 335 range. There are a couple guys leaving this offseason in the draft. Uh, what have they meant to this team? And how can the new guys step up? Oh, well, those guys definitely set the standard. I mean, last year, like, they were just, like, every, everything they did was always the right way. Um, set the standard for us going forward so that, like, even though they're not on the team now, we, we have, we impacted from their, from what they did, their influence, so that we could pass it down to younger guys coming in. Like, just as I said with Shafe, as far as uh, covering down the ball, like, that's something we're going to emphasize for the younger guys to you know, like, run down the ball, like, make sure to go cover down your receiver. Um, that's actually funny because my freshman year against Tennessee, Trey Hill actually covered a, a fumble by covering down the ball. It just goes to show that, like, the little things that players do before you can, like, impact you in a game or even in future games.